Perry Pencil. I'm going to be doing an 80s uh, cartoon lineup. So let's go ahead and start with uh, a square. And once you have that shape in, you want to go ahead on and divide the page in half. And I usually do this so that we know what's going on in relation from right to left. And once you've got this established, let's go ahead and drop in an oval shape here. For you artists starting out, this is just the simplest way to learn how to do, uh, and this is gonna be a, a bust drawing. So we're dealing with it from the head to the chest, all right? So uh, with the body, it's gonna be slightly off center. So let's have that go off the page like so. And then what I'll do is measure the box so you'll take your index and your index in your thumb and what you want to do is slide it over like this and uh, mark that and you want to slide it over to the center like this and then mark that there okay so now that we have that in place just put a line right here okay slightly slanted uh, because uh, his weight is shifting from his left to his right and then uh, what we'll do is just uh, drop his shoulders off the page like this. Now I'm gonna start concentrating on his head. So let's go ahead and put his head shape in here. So what this is, is a box that kind of gives you an idea of where you want your head to be inside the box. So it fits the form and it's even from one side to the other. And then you can go ahead and drop the eye line in, the nose, and then the mouth. So what I usually like to do is you have the outside of the, or the contour of the face, and then you want to drop two lines in for the, uh, what I call the temple line. All right, so from here, I'm gonna switch pencils out and we can begin drawing E-Man. So first thing what I want to do is I want to uh, concentrate on his facial features a bit. So let's go ahead and drop the eyes in. So I usually just put a simple oval in like this. All right, and then uh, usually like to put like a simplistic uh, shape of the nose here. So you can have a line come down just like this. And then uh, we have the outer nostrils here. So you just drop a line here and here. And uh, He-Man from the cartoon simply has a nostril here and he come down in the center, under and then up again. You try to keep it as simple as possible, it's not too much detail, and then have the nostrils come around this way. Okay? Then he has like a little indication of the outside of the nostril on this side. Now for the eyes, we want to go ahead and uh, draw a simple line in like so. Come up top here, over, and then come down like this. And do the same thing for the left side. Because of cartoons, cartoons doesn't have as much detail as say uh, comic book illustrations do. So this drawing is going to be pretty simplistic because I'm only concentrating on the cartoon version of He-Man and not the comic book version. So we're going to go ahead and drop a, a line in the center here so that when we put the iris in, we know exactly where we want that to be. I'm going to shade that in. And then bring the bottom part of the eye in. Repeat the same thing for the right eye. Close the bottom. Now we're gonna add the eyebrows in. So for the eyebrows, you just put a line across like this so we can have an idea of where we want it to be in relation to the eyes below. So we just have his eyebrows come up and he has the expression like his, he's excited or his expression is kind of like surprised almost or excited. And then come down the center like this. Repeat the same thing for the right eye coming up. And the way you can measure that is have a line lightly go across that way so you can kind of see if it's close to the other eyebrow. 
bring this in like this down and then the center and let's shade his eyebrows in and you'll start to see it come together soon let's darken this in as well and bridge his nose Now for his mouth, he's kind of look like he's about to speak or say something. So let's bring this up a little bit. It's actually too low here. So disregard this line here. Move the line up a little bit. And uh, I usually like to measure the corners of the mouth by the nose or the outside of the nostril. Now let's go ahead and just put his mouth in. And bring it down to the other side. And then for the bottom, just put the bottom lip in like this. And then close the edge of the mouth. And just correct this a little dark there to get rid of that line. And then he does have a bottom lip, so it's kind of full here. So you just want to simply come in under and up again like this. All right. Now what we're going to do is what I call a wig. So for the wig, you want to put a line in for the hairline here. And actually, it's just above his eyebrows. So that kind of gives you an understanding where the hair is going to come in. So right above his right eye brow here, we want to put a curve here. And we're going to come up into the center almost. We're going to come down. And we're going to come over again just between where the eyebrows are and it's lower on this side. And darken in these lines so you can see exactly what I'm doing and follow along and then bring the uh, separation here. Now above the left eye brow here, he has a hair lock that swings over the eye like this. All right. And underneath the right, we're gonna go ahead and put the hair in from the outside. So have his hair come down and around like this just to the bottom of his neck and do the same thing for the left side of his head here and bring that around too now for the outside of his face is going to be pretty simple because underneath the hair he has a cheekbone that comes in like this and it's the same thing repeated for the his left side and his jaw is going to come right out there he has very chiseled draw jaw excuse me a very chiseled draw jaw not draw excuse me and then bring the bottom in like this come up to the other side and make that as even as possible and then underneath here we can see the bottom of his ear so let's drop that in All right, and then there's a little indentation there as well. We have a line here. All right, so now we're going to work on the top portion of his hair. So let's come up about where I have the top of the line here. I'm going to bring the wig or hair around. And swing it out to the outside a little bit and then like that and we're going to repeat the same thing for the outside notice I'm using the outside of the square to make it as even as possible and swing it around this way he has a few lines here one and then two it comes in a little closer at the bottom and then he has a line right here. Up here he has a little bit of a line here. And then on the outside of the right side of his hair, you do that there and repeat the same kind of thing on this side. And he has a line right here in the chin. Now we're going to go ahead and move down to 
his neck. So for his neck, his neck is pretty thick because he's muscular. So we have the line come down like this and around. And we're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Then we're gonna put the shoulders in. For his shoulders, we're gonna have to come out like so. And drop down to the edge here. And repeat the same thing on this side. And his shoulders are huge, so I'm gonna put huge circles in so that it goes off the page here. And we don't get to see the rest of that because his arms are large. Have this come in like this. I'm gonna put his chest in. And then put another line for the chest this way. And then bring this around like this for his shoulder. For the outside, we're gonna have that chest come around and off the page. And then have his other shoulder come around like this. And like that, there we go. And then we're gonna have the outside of the arm go off the page like this as well. Now it's not a lot of detail as I said, it, it, the cartoon doesn't have as much detail as the comic book as I said before. We're gonna go ahead and put here as a, uh, a chest piece in. So let's go ahead and do that. Sketch in lightly. The chest harness that he's wearing comes around like this, right? So I'm doing two lines here and we're gonna do two lines going this way. And they're gonna come down right here. And we'll put like a box. Then what you can do is have this line go all the way over and then come down like this. It's in the middle of his chest, so that's how you can measure that. And the, there is a difference between the toy and the cartoon. The cartoon, he doesn't have uh, three squares here. Usually the toy has three squares, but because of the cartoon, I am not going to put that in. So I want to be consistent with the cartoon. Let's bring his chest uh, around like this and like that. And he has uh, a, portion, a portion of this, what looks like a, a plus in the center. That's going to go off the page as well with a circle right here. There's a shape there in the middle of that. And we'll come over here and do the same thing. We'll repeat the same thing over here. Alright, uh, if you're drawing along with me up to this point, I have one more thing I'm going to do is put the back piece of his sword in. He, he can't be He-Man without the sword, so forgive me, I almost went on ahead and ended the video without the sword. So it's a very simple shape. He has uh, a line here. You want to put, it's almost like a donut shape here. Again, these uh, shapes are very simple. Nothing complicated about it. And it's a little ball on the end here. So it shouldn't be really any problem to get that in. And this is indicating that his sword. All right, so I appreciate uh, everybody coming along here. And what I'm gonna do, as I always do in every video, is erase all the unwanted lines straighten up and clean it and then there will be an inked version at the end of the video and you can take a look at it when it's all done and pause it if you need to and uh, please give this video a like and subscribe and let me know if you like or didn't like this video and if you would like to see more 80s cartoon characters drawn name some for me take care